This conference will now be recorded. All right. Good morning. Go right ahead. Great, thank you. Good morning. I am Ethan Baldwin, a policy analyst for the Division of Financial Regulation and the hearing officer for today's hearing on amending a rule related to the standard bronze and silver health benefit plans. Also in attendance by phone is Karen Winkle, the Division Rules Coordinator, who will be recording today's hearing. Today is September 22nd, 2021, and the time is 11.24 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time. Is there anyone else on the call today? If so, please state your name and position. Do we have anyone else on the call other than Karen and I? Hey, good morning. You have Sam Signer, a senior associate from Oxley and Associates. All right, do we have anyone else? All right, we'll proceed. This is the time and place that for a public rulemaking hearing to receive testimony on whether the division should amend a rule, Oregon Administrative Rule 836-053-0013, to amend the standard bronze and silver health benefit plans in order to comply with the recently passed Oregon House Bill 2623. Notice for today's hearing was published in the Oregon Bulletin Notice was also mailed or distributed to insurers, to persons on the division's mailing list, and to other interested parties. A copy of the notice of hearing, together with the notice of proposed rulemaking and statement of need and fiscal impact, is contained in the master file and is made part of the record. This hearing will be conducted according to the Oregon Administrative Procedures Act, Oregon Revised Statute, Chapter 183, and the Attorney General's Model Rule of Procedure as amended to accommodate COVID-19 restrictions on public gatherings and to reduce the risk of spreading the COVID-19 virus. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic and the need to maintain social distancing, this hearing is being conducted by telephone conference call only. Written comments will be accepted until 12 p.m. today, Pacific Daylight Time, September 22nd, 2021. No other comments or exhibits will be accepted after that date and time. Anyone who wishes to testify today's hearing should state and spell their name, state their address, and state their affiliation, if any. The division does not respond to comments or questions during this hearing. After the close of the public comment period, I will prepare a report for review by the acting administrator as part of the formal rulemaking procedure. At this time, if you join the meeting after I started speaking, please identify yourself so that we can include you as part of the attendance record. All right, so background and history on this rule. Oregon Revised Statute 743B.130 requires the Department of Consumer and Business Services to prescribe by rule the form, level of coverage, and benefit design for bronze and silver health benefit plans that must be offered by insurance carriers. These plans must meet federal requirements issued by the Department of Health and Human Services. Each year, Department of Health and Human Services updates the actuarial value calculator used for determining coverage levels. Changes may include costs, plan design, population, developments in the function and operation of the AV calculator, and other actuarially relevant factors. DCBS provides exhibits to the standard bronze and silver plans in rule that prescribe the benefits the plans must provide. This rulemaking, what this rulemaking does, the changes made by HHS this year did not require DCBS to conduct rulemaking for the standard bronze and silver plans. However, as a result of the passage of Oregon House Bill 2623, DCBS will be required to amend the exhibits to both plans in order to comply with both federal and state law. House Bill 2623 limits the cost sharing for health benefit plan coverage of insulin prescribed for the treatment of diabetes. As a result, the AV for the standard plans is too high, requiring DCBS to lower certain other benefits to come into compliance with HHS. Insur At the time of passage, insurance carriers had already submitted their plans for review to DCBS. With the late passage of the bill, rulemaking was not able to be completed before D the end of DCBS as a review of these plans, and a temporary rule was issued. This is just the rulemaking to turn that temporary rule into a permanent rule. 
In a previous rulemaking, DCBS made changes to essential health benefit plans, reflecting changes to chiropractic and acupuncture care, which were approved by the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services. The standard plan exhibits were also updated to accurately reflect these previously approved and already covered benefits. Is there anyone on the call who wishes to testify? All right. Once again, written comments will be accepted until 12 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time today. No other comments or exhibits will be accepted after that. After the close of the public comment period, I will prepare a report to submit to the acting administrator for his review. The time is now 11.29 a.m. and that concludes this public hearing.